Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about fat packs. I recently ordered a bunch of them, um, and specifically I wanted to order, well, this fat pack is, I guess that's what happens when you throw them around. They're not the sturdiest of fat packs. Uh, specifically, I ordered a lot of um, Eldrick Moon from the MTG line box, you can probably tell, and I have more coming. Uh, Eldrick Moon fat packs are extremely cheap right now. On any re online retailer, you can get them for $30 shipped to you. That's why I'm paying for them. And it's not like I have a special deal. At my locals, you can get them for $28, $27, dollars uh, The reason I am a little gung-ho on the Eldrick Moon stuff, uh, especially the fat packs, it is the last fat pack. I know people are going to say, oh, well, the fat pack replacement is exactly the same. But not really, it's not exactly the same. Plus the Eldrick Moon set I like as a set in general, mainly because it is not going to be as opened as many sets. And when you're talking about volume, that's what concerns me about holding our cards or holding um, our magic cards from recent sets is that the volume is always greater. Eldrick Moon feels a lot like Origins for me where not many people drafted it, not many people opened it because you had uh, Eternal Masters, then you had Conspiracy 2. And Conspiracy 2 is by definition a draft set. So instead of drafting Eldritch Moon for as long as it was in standard or as long as it was the newest set, people were drafting Conspiracy 2 from here on out or from you know a few weeks out. And the same with uh, Eternal Masters, the same scenario where when a product comes out, you only have, let's say, $200 to spend, you buy that box of Eternal Master, that means you're not buying boxes of uh, Eldritch Moon. Now, as fat packs go, fat packs are great. Um, I have always enjoyed opening fat packs because for me personally, they have, uh, they are the perfect size to go drink some beers with friends and hang out and do all that stuff and not really worry about uh, cleaning up or one of the things about the fat pack is you can store it. And that's great when you just have random friends around and you, and it also comes with land. And out of those two scenarios, you know, if you buy a booster box, just a booster box and you draft, you typically don't have land. And if you do have land, you might have weird amounts of land. In fat packs, you have exactly what you need in terms of land. And you have exactly what you need in terms of nine booster packs, six booster packs for sealed free boost packs with a prize pool. The math just works out fantastic. Plus the fact that uh, when I used to buy booster boxes, I used to be the one who paid for it and I never got paid back. For fat packs, it's kind of like bring your own fat pack or I'll sell you a fat pack for what I bought for it, which in this case was $30. But Eldrick Moon fat packs, I think are an excellent speculation long-term, uh, mainly because I saw what happened to Innistrad fat packs. For fat packs, a lot of it depends on the art. Like that's why when you have these older boxes with some of the better artwork, they go for twenty dollars just for the box, right? And it also might depend on the art. So like a fat pack for uh, Gatewatch or Zendikar, there's full art lands in that fat pack, and there's a lot of them. But Eldritch Moon, I think, is going to be a very popular set moving forward. Uh, and it has not been open to the extent that recent sets have been open, which just because of where it sat. It was a summer set. So summer, less people are playing Magic. People are on vacation. Summer is not a popular time at f and And it's not a popular time uh, for, this was especially not a popular time when you had Conspiracy 2 and Eternal Masters. So having fat packs of this just makes me happy because I know long term wise I will either get a lot of utility of it and it reminds me a lot of fat packs from Innistrad which are insanely expensive. They're like $125 right now retail. And at that time I was like yeah I should pick up some of these because of all you know various scenarios of it. And Algic Moon has a lot of really good cards in it. It has Emicole which is good. Uh, Tamiyo didn't turn out to be as good, but the lily that is in this set, all you need is a lily. That's what I found out. The lily that is in this set is seeing play in modern, and it's really good. It's really, really good. So as a long-term hold, you know, I have more fat packs coming in. I, I just love the Eldrick Moon fat pack for 
uh, limited supply, limited drafted. They were not drafted very heavy. And it has the Chase Lily, which I think is modern playable. Anyway, that's it, guys. Bye.